you to go just yet. It's been a long time. Snake. Soon, I'll be gone too. How can you still be alive? That body, liquid burned on Volta, wasn't mine. That was the body of a clone. Solidus. He was a perfect clone. Zero and the proxy AIs that came after him were convinced that Solidus was me. I was implanted with nanomachines, kept in a state of eternal sleep by JD and the proxy AI. They had me sealed away completely, not only my physical body, but my will, too. The technology was similar to what they used to restrain the B&B &B members you encountered. For me to wake again, the system had to be destroyed. One way or another. Ocelot and Eva wanted two things. To bring me back to life, and to end the Patriots. That meant destroying the A.I. and killing the man, J.D. and Zero. Right before you uploaded the virus into G.W., the way to J.D. was opened, but only through the physical manifestation of G.W. That's when we finally learned the location of this man, Zero. For me, and for them, for Naomi. Nothing was more important. And it was for that that they put their grand scheme into motion. Eva stole my body from them and reconstructed it by replacing the missing parts with pieces from liquid and solidus. And Ocelot, in order to fool the system, used 
use nanomachines and psychotherapy to transplant Liquid's personality onto his own. He used hypnotic suggestion to turn himself into Liquid's mental doppelganger. For all our advances in nanotechnology, information and genetic control, they've never managed to control people at will, let alone turn one person totally into another. Under certain conditions, someone can be made to play a specific role. Act like someone else. Cats do love to play as snakes. It all started with him. Zero. Zero grew old, and by the end, his patriots were being run by a network without shape or form. What do you mean, without shape or form? The proxies were only one small part of the vast cycle that Zero created. The corporations, for-profits, and research institutions that comprise the military-industrial complex were part of it, too. They operated on budgets automatically allotted to them by the proxies. Accounts maintained by the Patriots. The network covered everything from weapons R&D and investment to production and marketing. It encompassed the people, the companies, even the laws that protect them. Politics and economics became nothing more than iterations of the same oppressively uniform system. I don't think anyone realized that it was all a setup, a mere set of norms. The Patriots were those norms, a neural network reduced to its simplest form, 